Hey, it's Clyde Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ADXS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis on Friday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. But wanna get the chart updated here as we've started off with the new week and just kind of uh, update a few levels on the chart. Uh, the first update that needs to be done comes from just a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of support are broken below uh, and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So for those of you that did watch the video and remember it from Friday, Hopefully you remember me talking about this $9.10 mark as support, but now that the price has broken and closed below it, this would be considered an area of resistance. So $9.10, now a level of resistance. And the other level to keep an eye on is gonna be that purple line there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. Now, uh, on Friday's video, I talked about, you know, as long as the price remains above that purple line, bulls are in full control. You know, the, the, the chart is, you know, just as, as good as it's gonna get, you know, the, the bulls are in full health. Now that the price is closed below the purple line, does that mean everything is ruined? No, not everything is ruined. Uh, I had a few questions on that. Now, has the chart lost some of its attractiveness? Yes, the chart has lost some of its attractiveness, but there's a massive difference between being totally ruined and losing some of its attractiveness. So sure, the chart has lost some of its attractiveness. It's not quite as pretty as it would have been had the price just continued to you know, stay and you know, just continue to groove along upside you know, above that purple line. So the price has broken below it, but again, just to really reiterate, I'm not saying that that means that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. It's just not quite as beautiful looking as what it was, you know, when the price continued to just kind of, uh, you know, flow up above that level in, in a nice, you know, orderly manner. Now, in terms of next potential levels of support, do you want to map out a couple of these? Next key one is down there at $8.60. Now, if the price comes down to 860 and starts to separate to the downside of that, at that point, I'm still not gonna say that the chart's ruined, but that that would get me starting to feel pretty skeptical about, is, is something wrong? Right now, I don't feel as though anything's wrong. This could just simply be a pullback. Pullbacks are part of the game. Pullbacks ha happen. I mean, no price can go up and up and up. But you know, down at this point, yeah, that would still be a pullback, uh, but it, it just, something in my mind, it, it would just start to set off kind of alarm bells of, of something not being quite right. But as it stands right now, the price isn't even close to that green line at 860. It's still up here, you know, up above 882, but definitely 860, uh, a, a very important level of support. Uh, but short term wise, again, the sooner the price can get back above, you know, the purple line and nine dollars and ten cents, the better. All in all, still a perfectly healthy overall chart. Bulls have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And that's the name of the game when you're trying to build those long term uptrends. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.